On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up G.I. Joe's Destro Weapon Supplier. Got to get tough. Yo, Joe! Scott vs. Box. Box! This is G.I. Joe Destro Weapon Supplier from the clearance bin in Target. Well, why would this be on clearance? There's so much stuff, I don't see why. Let's take a look and see if we can find out why. All right, we have Destro here and multicolors. Maybe they didn't paint him really well because normally he has a silver head, but he kind of has a white head, which is snowy-ish. Or they just got real lazy and they decided not to spray him the full way down. And then he's got all kinds of stuff. Look, he's got crystals and little rocket uh, proto packs and some sunglasses. We'll get to all that stuff in a little bit. Let's check out the back. Oh, it's his Match.com profile. Let's read it. Destro supplies weapons to Cobra and designs highly advanced weaponry that he sells to the highest bidder. He uses a frost cannon, ladies, of course, to flash freeze ambush G.I. Joe troopers during a battle at a Cobra manufacturing plant in a remote area of Greenland. And he likes small dogs. Well, isn't that fun? Arctic threat. The G.I. Joe team breaks into a Cobra base that's hiding powerful new technology. Yep, that's just what they drew there. That's pretty exciting, and I guess you're supposed to put that with that. And G.I. Joe is the codename for a special operations unit of highly trained men and women. Their purpose is to defend the world against Cobra, a ruthless organization with criminal tentacles in every nation on Earth. Hmm. I wasn't aware that a Cobra has tentacles. Back to the old drawing board. Well, and if you thought it doesn't get any more American than G.I. Joe, well, take a look at this. Hasbro's in Canada, and this was made in China. Are you, uh, are you bleeding out of your ears yet? I know I am. So much so I couldn't even say bleeding, I said breeding. I'm breeding blood out of my ears because this is so un-American, it makes me sick. So let's open it up. Oh boy, toys. Yay, action figures. Okay. Your f oh, it's my new TV network, Hub. Shut up, Hub. Get out of here. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at him. He thinks he's in a Call of Duty game. What a silly, silly Destro. Ah, we see here. He's got he's got his hand out for that. That's not a it's not a good thing for kids that he can. He's got his hand out like that. But he's got a jacket. The jacket kind of moves. You can be all stylish. Let's see what else he's got. Oh, hey, look at that. I never used to have these when I was a kid. He's got a little stand, and it's got his name on it. It says Destro. Isn't that cute? And a little cobra signal. Oh, this is precious. This is just, this is just parents will just eat this up. So I can put his foot on the pegs. No problem here. No problem putting discount clearance Destro on these little foot pegs. Boom! Standing up. Standing up for what's right. Evil. Oh, there's something inside here. Oh, is this a poster? Or is this a, some floaties for when I go in the pool? Huh? Whoa. Uh, man, this stuff is... Whoa! Look at all this. This is a cobra ice cutter. Even in the bitterest cold, cobra is unstoppable. Carving through ice and snow at record speeds. Never mind doing terrorist things or killing people. They're just really good at cutting through ice. What is that all about? Oh, and there's snow job. A guy with a very unfortunate name, Snowjob, who doesn't get ridiculed by his buddies at all, being called Snowjob, who's covered in white, and who lives in snow. Snowjob. Poor guy. And then on the back, whoa, there's more stuff to buy. Whoa, I can buy a big old dog. Check that out. That's cool. Oh, man, so many things like Cobra Commander, and Destro, and Storm Shadow, and Zartan, and... Fireflea and Jungle Vipper. Oh, and oh, good guys. Lame. So I got a little poster for my wall and in my locker so the chicks will dig me, right? Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, look at that. There's shards. And then shards. Look, like you can go like that. Like, oh, I've been in the cold so long. Woohoo! Turn up the heat. Huh? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a snow detector. Or it's a metal scraper. Can he get at it? Oh, he's got a gun. Finally, here we go. 
And when I think of evil, I think guns. And finally, there's a gun to put in his hand. Sort of. No problem. His hand just turns the other way. Just fits. There we go. What a threat, huh? Look at that gun. Look at that limp, twisted gun that he's holding right there. Clearance. I don't know why I went on clearance. Oh, look, he's got the goggles. Let's put these little goggles on him. Make him look all fancy. Oh, he's got tape. All right. There we go. Put these little goggles on him. Oh, who's a cute terrorist now? Who's a sporty terrorist? Get these on your stupid head. No wonder you're second in command. You can't get your glasses on. All right. Oh, totally threatening now. Oh, he's got another little ice pick. There we go. And put that on him there. And then, to get this last bit, oh, it's a drill. Oh, yeah, it's like Total Recall. He's got a drill. Look at that. Hey, ladies, how are you? And then, oh, he's got another little gun. This comes with so much stuff. Look at this. This is a tiny little gun. Just hide that in the pants. Put that in there in case stuff goes down later at the bar. And then, we've got this big tube. Oh, it's so exciting. Look at this tube. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, you can press a button. I don't know why. Oh, it goes in his back. What is this? Is it going to spew out goo? Is it going to goo, goo spew? I'm pressing the button. I don't get it. I don't know what's supposed to happen. But there's a big old tube. And for some reason, I don't know why, it doesn't seem to go anything. They don't explain it. But he can, he can, oh, Destro can have enemas. I get it now. And then he can take all that evil and bring it back to Cobra to then uh, infiltrate Snowjob. Well, there you go. There's Destro, Arctic Threat Weapon Supplier. Yeah. Mm. Check out other hilarious Scott vs. Box videos below. And be sure to subscribe to my channel right up here. And send me anything you want to see me unbox in the show to this address right over here. And I'll give you a free plug. Better get back to the mailbox. I'm waiting for my Russian bride. She's in a box.